Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about the new developments that have surfaced surrounding TanaCon. My Twitter feed has been flooded with TanaCon drama. So if you guys wanna know what happened with TanaCon and why it was an ultimate fail in the end, then you came to the right video, keep on watching. Let's just start with a brief backstory if some of you guys don't know. But basically, Tana uploaded a video basically boycotting VidCon and talked about why she doesn't support it and why none of us should support it either. And she decided to hold her own video convention called TanaCon and many other YouTubers would be there and you could go and you could meet some of your favorite YouTubers. So this event was supposed to be held on June 22nd, 2018. Around 5,000 tickets were sold, but 20,000 people showed up. If you guys want to see just exactly how many people were showing up, then take a quick look at this video. It looks like they may have stopped checking bags. Maybe they'll check them inside. Hey, Jennifer. to wait in the hallway which is the only place to sit because there's no space and it's unsafe. The thing I heard is that apparently there were 500 spots for all the meet and greets that could be filled but apparently the meet and greets are happening today only 150 people get to participate in the meet and greets to meet the people that they signed up for. And also videos have surfaced of Tana in the actual hall and it seems like she doesn't give a shit about what's going on. She seems like she's in her own world. I don't know if she's aware of what- I don't, I don't know how you're not aware. Like she has to be aware. I don't know. It just seems like she doesn't care. She's not very concerned that there's people waiting hours outside to meet her and other of their favorite YouTubers and they're not meeting them. Are you guys ready for a wedding? Are you guys having fun today? people in here are either pink or super burnt. This is the meet and greet check-in line. This is crazy. There there too. What? So you end up you end up right here, but you start way back here. I am lost for words. Tenacon just went crazy. Bro, you start like even farther down there. I didn't even see that. You start. <laughs> <laughs> So as you guys can see from the videos provided, people were literally waiting hours and hours to get into the hall, but the line wasn't moving at all for hours. The hall could only hold like a couple thousand people and it was completely full on the inside. So later on, officials realized and came to the conclusion that the hall was over full and there was way, way, way too many people that was there and it was to the point that it was extremely dangerous and is a huge fire hazard. So in order to completely prevent a disaster, they canceled the whole event. So obviously a shit ton of people were really pissed about what was going on, as anyone would be. They paid to be there and it gets canceled, it's overcrowded. Some people didn't even get in. Like yeah, anyone would want their money back and they deserve their money back too. People started tweeting about it and chanting refund. Unfortunately though, all of the sales were final sale, which most of you guys know that means that you're not gonna get your money back. Tana did go to Twitter and address the situation Shane also went to Twitter to address the situation, and honestly, I love that guy so much. He seems like he genuinely cares about people, which I love. Here's what he said. Shane tweeted, Just found out TanaCon has been cancelled. 
I'm sorry to anyone that came out here to see me. It wasn't my event, and if it was, it would have been run differently. I'm heartbroken looking at videos of people waiting all day in the sun getting burnt. He also tweeted saying, I don't blame Tana, but I do have some serious questions for the people that organized the event. Overselling tickets, not having enough water, and letting people burn? Not okay. And even though it's not my event, I promise I'll make it up to you. I'm so sorry. Someone responded to him by saying, I get it, but how will you make it up to thousands of people? And he responded by saying, they're refunding tickets, but as far as what I can do, I don't know yet. But I'm going to figure something out. I'll keep you posted. I'm getting on the phone now with people who might be able to help. And someone responded saying, they aren't refunding. All sales were final. And Shane responded, yes, they will. If they don't refund, I will do it myself. Honestly, good for Shane. I'm not really surprised that he has this kind of reaction. He's always been a very generous guy, especially in terms of money and giving people what they deserve. He later on tweeted, I'm working on getting a list of people that RSVP'd for my meetup. And for those people, I will hold a free meet and greet slash live show in the LA area this year. For those who are in other parts of the country that have their TanaCon receipts, I will make sure you guys get something special when I do my next book tour. I usually go in all the major cities so I will have a special private free meetup with those TanaCon ticket holders and make sure they are getting something special and have an amazing time. He's tweeted a bunch of times after that responding to the stuff that's going on. Honestly, good for him. He's dealing with the situation really well so far. He really doesn't want any of the fans to miss out on anything and he doesn't want them to be sad and upset because it was something that they were looking forward to. So as you guys can see, people were waiting outside without water, in the heat, they were getting sunburnt and nothing was happening. And later on the event ended up getting cancelled altogether, so people waited in line for five hours for nothing. And also, I don't know how true this is, this is probably true because I'm not surprised, her event seems so disorganized, but it's been said that people without tickets got in before people that had tickets. So that's really messed up. And also I heard that VIP and just like regular tickets were in the same line, which usually never happens. So I don't know what the hell is going on here. Here's another scandal for Tana. Now I'm just gonna be showing you guys what other people are saying on the topic. Honestly, I'm not surprised at all that this happened. Um, I feel like Tana in general is a very unprofessional, unorganized person. And it can be seen in things such as her collabs and how she shows up late for basically all of them. I honestly don't know what we were all expecting from this meet and greet. It was never going to be some huge, better version of VidCon. I think she did this whole idea of TanaCon out of spite and to boycott VidCon. I don't think she ever really did it for the fans. That's just my personal opinion. You guys can believe what you want, but it seems like she had her own personal bad experience with VidCon and she didn't want to support VidCon and she didn't want anyone else supporting VidCon. So she basically wanted to take their customers and it basically blew up in her face. She barely had any time whatsoever to plan this event. So she planned it in a very short period of time. So that's also not a surprising thing that it's basically a shit show. I'd say a good 99% of the time, these types of events are planned way, way, way in advance than the actual date. I think this is a lesson learned to the people that went and to all of us. I think if y'all wanna go out and Go to these types of VidCon and TanaCon and cons, whatever the hell they're called. I think if you guys want to do that, you should definitely do it on your own precaution. You should know the types of things that can happen because they have happened before in the past. And from then on forward, you can make the decision of whether or not you're willing to make that risk. Honestly though, if it was someone else that was planning and organizing this event, maybe it wouldn't have gone down the shitter. But I'm going to say that since it was so short in advance, I'm not very surprised that she wasn't able to book a bigger theater and a bigger hall. 
It was probably honestly the only thing she could get at that point in time. Anyways, what do you guys think of the situation? Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. I always read comments, so I'll definitely check yours out. I'll heart some. Um, yeah, so make sure to leave some comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!